This video is sponsored by Bro VFX. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to enhance your cinematic video projects with the overlays and 2D assets from Bro VFX's new Arcane Pack. Use code JINX at checkout to get 25% off your purchase. Let's get to it. Here I have some cinematic shots that I got last weekend, but I think the video still needs something to really make it stand out. That's where the Arcane Pack comes in, with its over 500 overlays and assets. But rather than me explaining and boring you all, I'll give you a brief overview of what this pack contains, and then let's start working on the actual video. I've already downloaded the pack and put it in a power bin so I can find all the assets inside DaVinci. In the 2DFX pack, there are these cartoony fire and electricity elements, which are pretty cool for many kinds of videos. Next up, there are burn transitions. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to use them in my intros. Next, there's dust and scratches. These subtle overlays work in almost every situation. As well as grain, which works every time, especially when doing visual effects. A good film grain looks very cinematic. Then there are some light leaks. Then my favorites from this pack, the scribble effects. With these, the possibilities are endless. You can use them like I'll show you in a bit, or enhance your texts, motion graphics, and much more. Last but not least, textures. On top of all these, the Arcane Pack comes with drag and drop transitions. I'll use this one for the first reveal of the car. Drag the asset over the point where the clips change, then go over and set the composite mode to screen. Nice. As you can see, these transitions are really easy to use and look amazing. Let's find another one similar. Let's find few more and add them. All right, let's test the transition effects. You can drag them in between two clips easily. If you don't like a certain part of the transition, you can fully customize it by adjusting the values and changing some settings. Let's try another transition as well. You can easily make them fit for chill videos as well as aggressive ones. Let's add one more of these transitions for now and add more later if needed. Great, I'll add a few more burn transitions since I think they look so cool. Now that the transitions are done, let's go over the scratch and grain overlays. These are subtle but cool. I'll move this one on top of the first clip because it works well with the transition. I'll also add some grain. I usually don't add excess grain for my videos, but it works with these cinematic shots, making them look more like a movie. Also, if an asset is too strong or visible, you can always reduce the opacity. In this case, it makes the grain more subtle. Another cool thing is that the video assets loop flawlessly when added next to each other. Next up, light leaks. This one looks nice. Once again, it's a little too strong, so I'll reduce the opacity. Let's add these to the points where they look best. We'll do the same for some texture assets. Now 
Now for my favorite part, the scribbles. You can simply drag them into the timeline like the other assets. Sometimes it works well just by positioning it at the right point. A 2D explosion might also look cool coming from the exhaust. I don't know, maybe the scribble fits better for this style since I'm planning on adding more. You can also track them to the video like this. Open the clip in Fusion, press Shift plus Space, and add a planar tracker. Draw a square on the point you want to track the asset. Change the tracker to hybrid point area. Click Set, then track forward. After that, change operation mode to corner pin. Find the correct asset and connect it to the tracker. Position the corner pin correctly. Add transform and position the line correctly. Copy the nodes and move the other line down. You can also change the timing in the keyframes window. I'll add another round by copying all the nodes to the side and adjusting the keyframes. That looks good. I'll do the same for this clip, but this time I'll use one of Arcane Pack's smile scribbles and make it play twice. Nice. Let's move to the next clip. I think I'll add angel wings for this Supra. Let's copy the original clip so we can add another wing behind the car. Open the original in the color page. Select your pen tool and mask out the car. Go to the node section, right click, and add an alpha output, then track the mask. If the tracker doesn't work perfectly, fix the mask manually frame by frame. After that, connect the alpha output, add some softness, copy the wing asset and combine it with the masked car using a fusion clip. Delete all the excess nodes like I do. Press Shift plus Space and find DVE. Position the wing so it looks good. Now I'll add some final scribbles and other elements to finalize the video. basically it. 